Hi, my name is Jason. I'm a minister here at the Madison Church of Christ. And tonight we typically meet together here at the building for Bible study and a little bit of fellowship. But with the bad weather moving through and the severity that we've seen already in the western part of the state, we've decided to cancel services. Our facilities are still available in our basement for those that need to ride out some shelter during the storm. But I thought I'd take just a minute and share a couple of thoughts with you uh, from our study that we had on Sunday morning. We were in the, the Young Marrieds class and we were discussing the idea of better together, uh, but more specifically some passages in scripture that talk about being one another, one with another. Our theme this year of, uh, of Better Together comes from Ephesians chapter four. And there in the end of chapter four, we, we read where Paul says that the church is, is like a body where every ligament, every joint works together. And when every joint works together, it builds itself up in love. And that's very important. Basically what he's saying here, if I can borrow a phrase from Bill Belichick and Nick Saban, do your job. When everyone in the church does their job, and that means when we're people of integrity, it means when we live lives where we consider the spiritual consequences of our decisions, of our thoughts, when we become the people that God has called us to be, when we become more like Christ, then we as an individual are not only better, but we as the body of Christ, as his church, his kingdom are also better. We're building one another up and we're building the church up. By design, the church builds itself up in love. And I know we're not gonna be here together tonight, but Anytime severe weather moves through it, it makes me think back to the tornadoes of 2011. And I had been living in North Alabama for just a few years at that time. And growing up, we had tornado drills all the time. And personally, I'm afraid to say this, but I didn't really take them seriously. I saw them as an opportunity to get out of class and to hang out with my friends and, and uh, you know, just kind of hang out and talk in the hallway. But in 2011, the severity of those drills changed for me personally forever. But the events that happened after that day, when those storms moved through and the destruction they caused, they also revealed some of the greatest humanity has to offer. Specifically, the people that I worship with were helping each other. They were helping strangers. They were taking food to neighbors. I know our neighbors in our, our neighborhood, we had a block party almost every night because we had meat that was gonna spoil, so we had to grill out. So there was a, a tremendous time of community that came from a tremendous time of destruction. The church came out of a time of persecution in the first century. Paul, in fact, in Ephesians, he's writing this letter, sitting in a prison, sitting in a jail, in a time of, that I would consider a time of crisis in my life if I were in those circumstances. So regardless of what the weather brings us tonight, Lord willing, we'll see tomorrow. Lord willing, we'll see many more days that come, uh, come and go. But regardless of what circumstances we find ourselves in, if I'm living the life that I'm called to live, and that is a person that has integrity, a person that, that cares about morality, a person that cares about other people that sacrifices. Most importantly, a person that takes the word of God seriously, that puts the scriptures at the heart of who I am as a person. And as in chapter one, Paul says that Christ has been given as head of the body. If, if the head of my life is Christ, if I filter all of my thoughts the way that Christ would think, the way that he would have me think, if I, all of my relationships go to a spiritual level with people, well then, through doing that, through growing in that and maturing in that throughout my lifetime, I am becoming more like Christ. And I'm a part of that process of building up the church. So I'll leave you with this. One, I hope to see you soon. And two, always remember that when you're a part of the body of Christ, we are better together and that's by design. That's by God's design. Lord willing, we'll see you on Sunday. Have a great night.